Hello, it's Frex from uh, DIY Audio. I show you today my new project, the AT2380. It's a two channel, uh, fully digitally controlled uh, stepped attenuator. I present you the prototype. Uh, the attenuator is uh, housed in a small aluminium enclosure from Amund. Uh, in this video I show you the front and rear panel command and uh, in the uh, next video I will uh, show how to use it in a real situation. In the front panel we find two BNC connectors for uh, input of the attenuator. Two, uh, two color uh, indicator LED, a seven segment LED display, four digit, and on a rear panel, the two output of the of each channel of the attenuator, the kit mode switch, uh, allowing to disable all internal clock to avoid uh, noise contamination from the digital circuitry to the attenuator channel, the coaxial uh, jack uh, input for uh, DC voltage for powered the device. It's, uh, it needs uh, 12 volt from a battery pack or a low noise uh, external power supply. And uh, here it's uh, the rotary encoder with a push button. Uh, the, bush, the rotary encoder uh, allows to set the attenuator value and uh, to select uh, all the uh, function of the device. Now I I plug a DC battery pack, a 12 volt uh, DC battery pack uh, from uh, AliExpress. And uh, I turn it on. So uh, by default, the attenuator uh, works as a manual uh, standard attenuator, and uh, the seven segment LED display uh, show the actual uh, attenuation setting for both channels. If I turn the encoder, I can set any value from 0 to uh, minus 127.5 dB. We can say that the step is uh, 0.5 dB, but uh, you can change it by pushing the push button of the encoder for 1 dB step, 3 dB step, 6 dB and 10 dB step. So with a 10 dB step, you can go faster to high attenuation value. And uh, if I push again, I back to 0.5 dB step. Uh, if I need to use the Kiet mode switch, there is a not a display anymore because the whole clock is disabled, but uh, the the uh, channel uh, attenuation uh, setting is uh, freezed, so uh, you can use it as an uh, attenuator, but it is not possible to control uh, attenuation value. So if I turn off the Kiet mode, I back to previous value and uh, now I can change the value. Okay. Uh, in uh, manual mode, it is also possible to measure the dB volt level of the output of the attenuator uh, simply by pressing the push button for at least a 5 seconds and then the, the LED the D1 uh, for, go from uh, green to red. Oh. Oh. In, uh, when uh, this, uh, the LED D1 is red the, the seven segment display show the actual dB volt level. So here I, I'm in an open loop and uh, the displayed level is almost the noise, noise floor of the measurement. 
So in a, in a, in the manual uh, in the auto track mode, sorry, uh, it is possible to set the value from uh, uh, 10 dB volt to uh, minus uh, this level, almost this level. It is not possible to go down to a noise drop, of course. Uh, I can back to normal value by pushing 5 seconds again. I back to uh, step 0 0.5 0 uh, dB step. Now I can show you uh, to, to go in a auto tracking mode. The tracking mode is uh, enabled by uh, pushing and uh, releasing the push button after uh, about two seconds. Okay, now I'm uh, in uh, auto mode and the displayed level here is the tracking uh, level in a dB volt I want on the output of the attenuator. It's not a measurement, huh? it's only the, the setting, so I can change it. I can change it from, uh, uh, of course, I can change the step also uh, from 10 dB volt, it's a positive uh, dB volt uh, around uh, uh, 3 volt RMS, RMS, and the minimum setting is minus 90 dB. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's not possible to track from uh, down to this level because uh, the measurement flo noise flow is uh, higher than uh, this value, as you have seen uh, before. Uh, it's a, a feature, feature here. The D2 uh, LED uh, allow to indicate the status of the control loop. Uh, this LED is uh, red or green if uh, Error uh, is uh, positive or negative. Uh, if the error is a difference from uh, a dB volt setting and a dB volt measurement on the output of the attenuator. And uh, if the error is uh, fully new LED, you have uh, no error, and then the LED D2 is off. We can show for, uh, uh, for the noise floor level there is almost no error. No error. That said, uh, the, the actual dB volt level at the output is same as uh, my, my setting. Uh, okay. I think uh, you, you have seen uh, all the functionality. Uh, I will show uh, how to use it uh, in the next video. Bye.